Today in this video, we found a whale who is extremely powerful and as well as very deadly. Who is this whale? Well, this is Leader. He is the leader of the Alliance RV-86. This is in Kingdom 2886. And um, what surprised me with this governor's profile is the kill points, really. The kill points he's got is 1 billion kill points. The total kill points he's got for T5 is 44 million. And the total kills is 2.2 million T5. This is crazy. This player is, wow, a real whale fighter. Now, in this KVK, this is a 2 versus 2 KVK. We've gotten a little bit of information here from Luffy from 28 to 85, giving us some information about this powerful whale. So he said that this is definitely an original account. And um, taking a look at this whale, 116 million power with 1 billion kill points, KVK1. And I was like, you sure? I don't know if you can migrate now in KVK Season 1. So I want to make sure. But he said, this is not a migrant. This is legit. So majority of the fighting that's been happening was from 86 and I believe with 85. 85 has a few T5 players, but I guess he is just slaying these T5 players. Let's take a look into the commander. He is definitely a whale with all these maxed out commanders. Tao Tao, Yi Song Ye, Tatmos even maxed out. Wow. And um, Richard, Julius Caesar, Minamoto, and Charles Martel. I don't know if you guys are in this KVK, but 2886 seems like a very powerful alliance here. They got another T5, which is Zam Zamkino. This seems to be a pretty whale kingdom. Um, look at that. Is that a cute cat? Is that a cat? Ooh, that's actually cute. All right. We got that. And they got core 77. So they got at least one, two, three, T5. Let's see who else is T5 in this alliance. Wow. Um, I think there's no more T5 there. I think that's all the T5 they got. And let's take a look at the other alliances in here. Um, I don't think they have any other T5 besides that. I think they only have like one main alliance in here. Or let's take a look. What about this alliance? So they have some strong ones in here as well. I think I think they have one really strong alliance. And I think that's pretty much it. Now, they are mostly fighting with 85. And looking into 85 in here, they have one whale. I see. One, two. Um, not really T5 yet. But, you know. Uh, 36 mil 32 million, it's probably a moderate spender here. Here at least two T5s in 85. I got to double check what Luffy said if there is more T5 players in his kingdom. But so far, I think there's only two. He says um, two to four people in my kingdom that has T5. So I found two of them. I don't know where the other two is. Um, there are five people with uh, 50 million power above in 2885. I have a question. Is 2825 20, and 2026 very strong considering it is still in KVK1? Yes, it is quite powerful for a KVK1. Um, that's a lot of T5 in KVK1. I wish I can find where the T5 is. I guess maybe let's take a look at G85W here. So here we got one two three uh three t5s there so three t5 there are these indonesians these are indonesian players so three t5 and we found a two t5 here so that's actually interesting wow um that's probably where he's getting all his t5 kills by fighting these t5 players in this kvk let's take a look at the 65 million um how much T5 kills, he's got not very much compared to leader. Not very much either here. They might not be, like, fully invested in a lot of the commanders in here to max them out to where, like, they're actually doing a great job on killing in the field. There might be a little bit, like, not, like, super huge spender in here. Wow. Mm, it's not even sharing the details for for the commanders. Um, but what I can see is that they're getting a lot of the kills for T5 from 85. And it seems like 86, just by looking at this, 
it seems like 86 is probably the stronger kingdom from the two. And 86 and 88 are teamed up. 80, 85 and 87 are teamed up. I didn't really see any 87 that has T5 players. Oh, so here's the story. I actually was in 2887, but there, since there was a civil war there, I migrated to 2885. I see. So I'm like, he probably got a lot of T5 kills from civil war. Uh, then... That kind of answered the question that I have going on in here is how did he get all these T5 kills getting into KVK1 because there is just no way. It didn't really make sense to me how he would get so many T5 kills here. So, um, I mean, he is still a very powerful player, definitely a whale. Let's take a look into the profile in here. This is owned by a man. I don't know where he is from. All right. And you can see... That he is definitely number one. I don't know what language this is. Don't know what language that is. If you guys know, please let us know. And looks like he is enjoying it. That, uh, what is this game? What is in there? Is that Rise of Kingdom still? Is that a coffee? It's like a fancy restaurant in here. Um, looks like he's a ladies man. And you can see that he is already VIP 18 with 785,000 uh, gems that's a lot wow what language is this i don't know i don't know what language that is so this player definitely a very strong player let's take a look into the other whales they have here in their kingdom um, not much of a t5 kill points looks like he really did a lot this one has ninety-five thousand debts and how much did leader have for debts Leader has 1 million deaths already in KVK1 only. Oh my god, that is crazy. Whoo! That's insane. This one has 422k deads, 440 million kill points. Not bad, 1.5 million T5 kills. Did Leader kill mostly from T4? It has to be mostly from T4, right? Um, T4 is 92 million kills? And 927 million kill points. That's crazy. That's that's super strong in KVK1. Um, some of the few notable ones that I remember that are pretty strong in KVK1, like, you know, we've mentioned about Nefisto before with, you know, his power. Um, we have also looked into um, Alpha Deer. And um, there is one more that was, that we made a video of in KVK1 that's also very powerful. Um, I can't remember, but the, I know there's more. But wow, that is insane with this, you know, power that they're coming in in KVK1 only. I mean, when I first started KVK1, there wasn't whale like these. This is just, you know, crazy. I think he left and he hasn't replied me yet. Let's take a look into the other one in here. Um, they are, I think they're definitely going to win in this uh, in this KVK. So I think this alliance is like comprised with like Chinese alliances. Um, and the other one seems to be more like Indonesian. So this is quite interesting on what we're seeing. Let's see. Um, this is pr probably international alliance. right? Now, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys knew who leader was? And if you are playing with him in this KVK, what do you think about it so far? I mean, he's got an insane amount of kills. For a KVK1, and he is the leader of the alliance, and his name is also Leader. So that is not very difficult to remember. This is absolutely insane amount of kill points. I just can't believe it. This, like, if we look at mine, that's already 1 billion kill points. If we look at mine, I'm only 2.4 billion kill points. This is insane. He's already half my kill points in just KVK1. I mean, he is already almost like going to kill a lot more T4 than me. I'm 100. 100 million T4 kill here. He's already, what, 95, 95, 92? 92 million, you know, um, kills of T4 in here. Insane. So he's definitely going to go past my points. I think one of the biggest benefits is whaling up in the early stages of the game and getting a lot of kills because everyone is weak and you are, like, super strong. So in that sense, you have a significant advantage you're using your money to take an advantage in the early stages of the game. And that's one way to really boost your stats moving forward in your next KVKs. With that being said, Rockers, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again next time.